favor of God has come upon you. I'm hearing a name like Mario. Mario. I'm hearing a name like Mario. Anybody know Mario? Mario. Mario. Mario, I just heard that, Mario, I just heard the name, Mario, come here, come here, your nephew, is he in Barbados, you see, I see a strong darkness disappearing from your family, I saw a, a, a very thick darkness disappearing from your family, it is good you are here, a very thick darkness disappearing. Ah, the Spirit of God just took me to your house right now. I'm in St. Thomas, and the Spirit took me to your house. I see and I saw. You see. Let me try to poison you. Are you aware of it? And guess what? The enemy even tried to poison you through a cat. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yes. Because I saw a cat as I entered your house and I heard the name Lucky. Yes. Lucky. Yes. Lucky. Yes. Can I prophesy? Yes. Me to your house and I find myself at the place like St. Thomas and when I enter your house I saw a cow a cat C A T and I heard the name Lucky. Yes but he died now Lucky died and that cat Lucky was 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 projected poison into that cat poison was projected into the cat or lucky to kill you and the cat loves you so much, so the cat chose to die. Yes, the cat, yes, yes. Are you here? Yes. The enemy projected poison. Yes. They, 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 they manipulated the cat. They projected some okay. things into the cat. Yeah. And the enemy want to use your own cat to poison you. But the cat loves you so much. Yes. Because you have been so yes. nice to the cat. So the cat said, instead of me to kill, instead of me to kill Dottie, let me die. Yes. I let me die. Lucky. Yes. And Lucky died. Yes. Lucky got sick. Lucky got sick and Lucky yes. died. Yes. That was my cat, too Lucky. Huh? Are you here? looking for ways and means to kill you and they couldn't so they wanted to use your own cat against you and the cat said no this woman has been so nice to me let me die and when I look I saw myself at Yui Cave Hill and I saw some things and in the realm of the spirit I saw myself in a meeting and a discussion was going on and this discussion is about Dr. Tonya my daughter, Dr. Tonya my daughter. Dr. Tonya yes Tonya yes is my daughter and there is a government opportunity that is supposed to come her way a government opportunity that is supposed to come her way but anytime the opportunity comes another person take it yes because i am seeing her in a university yes huh? she is lecture in UWI. a lecture in uwe yeah now this is what i saw so there is this government opportunity in the realm of the spirit she's supposed to sign it yeah and another person came and took the paper from the table 
and on the paper it's a very higher governmental opportunity that has something to do with gender and development gender and development gender and development gender and development dr tonya and any time the opportunity come another person take it any time that honor is supposed to come another person take it even they are trying to project cancer into her system and diabetes they are trying to project cancer into her system a very strong woman they are trying to put cancer into her system and diabetes oh jesus Anytime the time is due, another person take it. Yeah. After her doctorate, she thought it would come. Another person take it. She further to go and even get PhD. You know she got PhD? Yes. After getting the PhD, still another person. Yes. Working so hard, another person. I pray for you. Mm. Nobody will sit in a position that belong to you. Amen. Amen. I Thank decree you. and I declare over your life, whatever belong to you, no man will take it. Yeah. No man. Hey. Whatever job, whatever business, whatever property is yours, nobody will take it. Nobody. <laughs> nobody will take it. Oh Jesus. Is it possible for me to see her? Ah, a very hard working woman. Do you know what she's teaching at the university? Gender and developmental studies. By now, she's supposed to be a minister in government. Yeah. Whenever the opportunity comes, another take. Another take. Another take. Another take. I'm seeing ah, a very strong family, but she was able to break through. Yeah, a very strong family background, but Tonya was able to break through. But still, the limitations are even there at that height. She fought her way through it, but still, but still. But still, but still, but still. And the Lord said, I should also pray for Alana. Alana, your last daughter. Alana. Alana. And I should also pray for Mario. Yes, that's my name. And I should also pray. For Angela. That's my sister. For Angela. Because I saw Angela singing in the choir and just collapse. Yes. She do what? She's singing in the choir and sometimes she's got this like a dizziness that she would fall. You told me? No. 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 I said I saw Angela. The Lord said I should pray for Angela because I saw her singing in the choir and yes, just collapsed. And that is yes. it. They rushed her to hospital. She couldn't come again. Okay. Yeah. Angela just passed away like that. Oh Jesus. Do you know Bonita? Bonita. Girl. by now she's supposed to be traveling 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 governmental meeting in, in big big universities yes. in America that in is. Europe in Asia all over South Africa. she used to do what she was to go to South Africa but it never came off
great destiny. Yeah. Very great destiny. She's bigger than just a lecturer. She's bigger than just a lecturer. Very bigger. And even if she wants to pursue politics, I see a place for her. Okay. Yeah. I see a place for her. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I see a place for her. I see a place for her. Karabasate. You know, try your best at least for me to lay hands on her, pray for her, and tell her some direction to do. Yeah. No. You had what? Alana need prayers to push. She's standing still. Alana. Yes. She do you know she loves you so much? Yes. But things are not going on well with her at all. She loves you so much. That she you, she have you so much on her heart. Mm -hmm. She loves you so much. So 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 much. So 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 much. Yeah. She loves you so 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 much. But things are not good. Things are not good. Things are not good. Tonya is single. Yes. She never married. No. Never have a child? No. But she's here uh, 40s? She, yeah, she's 40. She will be 41 next month. <laughs> hey! Beautiful lady like that. Very beautiful, natural. Sometimes she likes to dress like an African woman. Very yeah, African clothes, yes, yes, yes. Yes, that is true. <laughs> Very pretty woman. Yes. I will get here, man. Yes. <laughs> what is the time? Set off your hand to us here. Yeah. How many children do you have? Three. Yeah. You need to get one. You see, sometimes, eh? You have to also pray for the animals in your house. Yeah. You have to pray for the animals in your house. If the enemy cannot get you, he look for anything he can use against you. <laughs> Is it not mind blowing that all of a sudden your cat just die, fall sick and die? You don't even know what happened. You know what was wrong with Lucky? Yeah. The cat died your death. Okay. <laughs> you need a prophet in your life. Oh. <laughs> yeah. The cat died your death. Yeah. The cat just used to die your death. Search of your hand towards. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. We declare deliverance in her life and the family. We come against every programming of the enemy and every attack of the enemy. In the name of Jesus, I use you as a point of contact to the family, to your daughters. I declare them loose and set free. Every limitation operating in their life is over. Every darkness operating in their life is over. I declare, let there be light. Let there be light. Let their star shine. In the name of Jesus, every opportunity that must come their way, let it come. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. Amen. Let me pray for you. Come, let me pray for you. Oh, Jesus. Father, that favor you have shown me, let it come upon her and let it manifest upon her in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. The lady at the back, let me pray for you. Let me 
pray for you every spoken case release upon you in the name of Jesus I reverse it I counsel it I declare you free from every power of cash be loose in the mighty name of Jesus be set free now I speak favor upon you I declare the favor of God upon you I declare the blessings upon you you are blessed beyond curses you are favored beyond curses in the name of Jesus I declare financial establishment financial turnaround in Jesus mighty name I pray amen stand up do you love him huh? just tell me you love him He said that to get out of us. So currently you are living in his house? Yes. And he said you should get out? Yes. What happened? I don't know. It's a long story. But why? My accent is too hard for you. Can you speak, speak my bedos to her? <laughs> I, I, you know, you think I'm just using my mind or what? You believe in a prophetic? You believe in me? I just come to church to get deliverance because I go into a lot of stuff. So you came to church for deliverance because you are going to a lot and everything I am saying is... I don't know how I'll help you. Look at me. You want me to help you? Somebody give her a microphone for me. Sorry, let, let, let's help our sister. Yeah. You know, she's in a very serious, complicated situation. And I expect her to be very serious, but I feel mean, like. Yes, please. Madam, you want help? Yes, please. How, how long do you know the man? About 10 years now. When you knew him, was he married? No. Did you know that he was married when you knew him? I told you that you are dealing with a married man. And the wife pronounced some things on you. And you said, no. He's not married. He was divorced. Now I am asking you that did when 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 the two of you are in the relationship. Did you know that he is somebody's husband? Yes, please. saw that you and him were in love when he was still married he said no hold you said you are not in relationship so when were you in relationship with him you got another woman before I know him So by that time she was divorced or what? Yeah, no, you are lying. No, 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 no. Is it that you don't know what I'm saying or because all the things we are saying are not adding up? Yeah. Yes, it only divorced. Because at the end of the day. This man just used to help you, and there is no relationship. Is that true? Yes, please. He doesn't. He doesn't say he loves you or he wants you to be a girlfriend. He just helping you. He just love to help you. You're not helping me. I help him myself. <laughs> okay. 
okay so this is what i am seeing this is a man i am not talking about now <laughs> huh? about 11 12 years ago 11 uh, 10 11 12 years ago that's what i'm talking about that this man just used to help you and all of a sudden the two of you started having sex and you got pregnant yes please. Ah, you say yes yes please. but you said no earlier on so it wasn't a relationship it was just helping you helping you and all of a sudden he decided to why can't i taste and see <laughs> Then he slept with you and he got pregnant. And another one. And he decided to let you come and stay with him. Is that it? Yes, please. So you, you are staying in his house. Yes, but he doesn't want you. No. But you have nowhere to go. No, please. So why can't you make things simple like this? So he started treating you anyhow. No. Huh? He calls and tell me all kind of things. He started treating you anyhow, talking to you anyhow. Yes. Tell me all kind of different things. Insulting words. But you two, you don't love him? No. Huh? No. Please. You don't love him? No. But you have nowhere to go? No, please. But you need his help? Yeah, I need his help, but you're not helping. Uh, so, um... You come to church here on Sundays? Uh, this is two Sundays I came, and two, this could be two thousands. So guess what? Sun, Sunday, will you come Sunday? Yes. I want you to meet a counselor, so we can talk to you and see how we can help you. Are you panicking? I, I like, <laughs> are, you, are you frightened? Yes. Why did you come to church? You know, you came to get help, right? To get some prayers. <laughs> huh? Yes. Oh, Father. No, she has been so much traumatized, abused sexually, beaten, insulted, treated anyhow. And I love you, okay? I like people like you. You are at the right place. You are at the right place. Recover mentally. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Be make whole. Be healed. Be set free. In Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Don't cry. Don't cry. Don't cry. Come and give me a hug. Come and give me a hug. Come and give me a hug. On your feet you have no idea what people are going through yeah they have no idea she's here but her mind is not here she, she's so much said so thank you for bringing her to church thank you for inviting her thank you so much some of you are not just inviting people to church you are changing people's life yeah you are changing people's life you are changing people's destiny welcome to mega prophetic ministry we are prophetic, we are apostolic, we are a mega family. I can hear that a child is crying concerning the uncle, Marcus. I don't know whether it is a name, but I am hearing a name like Sky. 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 And I prophesy. Hey, any attack program for any man, any woman here. Set back fire! Back fire! Back fire! God bless you. I'm Prophet Vincent Grant from Ghana, Africa, and I specially invite you to worship with me every Thursday, 6 30 p.m., and every Sunday, 10 a.m., at Wildy Men Road opposite the soul gas station call this number for any inquiry 258 
3074 come and experience the prophetic anointing that will take you to the next level of your life